um, we depart from uh, an axiom, previous axiom, and it is the concept of broadband society. Mm? Uh, we have, uh, uh, we now uh, concepts like information and knowledge society, uh, digital society, uh, mm, from a lot of authors, but uh, we consider uh, that um, nowadays mm, the key application, the key uh, factor is mm, not only uh, the network, but the quality of this network. Mm? Uh, first of all, the first uh, step, the first layer of this uh, technological sequence uh, implies a uh, uh, universality of the service. Uh, 10 percent, 100 uh, percent of population uh, has to have uh, broadband access. Mm -hmm. uh, the second issue in this uh, uh, sequence is broadband. But uh, here uh, we have to be more exigent in this uh, question, uh, more rigorous, and uh, we have to mm, demand broadband and not narrow one. Uh, you know, uh, uh, this concept is uh, very mm, diffused, uh, is, is very fluctuable. The E2, the International Telecommunications Union, uh, considers that uh, broadband depends on the need of each user. Mm? Uh, it uh, is different in an uh, 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 enterprise uh, uh, area or an, in a domestic area, for instance. Mm, uh, nowadays, in the enterprise uh, area, uh, we consider broadband uh, solutions like HFC, uh, hybrid fiber and coaxial, the combination of fiber optic, optical fiber and uh, coaxial uh, cable, and uh, FTTX, uh, FTTX solutions like fiber to the home, fiber to the curve, or fiber to the room. Mm, it is uh, a dream, fiber to the room, uh, each one of us in our rooms uh, have fiber optic, optical fiber uh, till the room. And uh, we consider this is the objective a uh, long term. Uh, it's, it's obvious that in a middle term it uh, will be difficult, in, uh, and especially in Latin American uh, environment, uh, but uh, in the, the most developed countries um, we consider um, the trend has to be to FTTH uh, technology. And then we observe here a third step uh, on this uh, chain, um, uh, and it is a warranty service. Uh, and this uh, element of warranty uh, is provided by CER. Uh, CER is a committed interchange or committed information rate. Mm, is the, the amount of uh, information, the amount of data, which is warranted by the telecom operator to the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the enterprise uh, sector, logically, uh, the CIR is uh, higher than in the domestic uh, sector. Mm -hmm. And we have to add to this CIR uh, the SLA, Service Level Agreement uh, concept. Mm -hmm. uh, when we have a, a good or, or a, a acceptable CIR, uh, we can add a service, uh, uh, service level agreement, uh, um, uh, agreement, mm, uh, service level agreement uh, with a, a very high rate of broadband. Mm. And this SLA has to be uh, signed by the enterprise or the domestic uh, customer with the uh, telecom operator. Mm. It could be a cable operator or a generalistic operator or, or an a specialized operator. Mm. We have here a uh, formula, development of broadband networks. It depends on the percentage of uh, uh, broadband and uh, the percentage of warranty, uh, CIR and ESLA, uh, and uh, the relation with the universality. Mm? And then we can achieve mm, this uh, theoretical uh, concept of development of broadband networks. Uh, logically, Latin America nowadays is uh, in a very uh, low zone in a theori theoretical classification. Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, previous aspects uh, are the impacts of broadband and technology. Uh, in general, digital technology improves uh, the productivity and competitiveness 
uh, of the countries are logically the quality of life of uh, citizens. Uh, you know the Al Gore, Al Gore propositions in the United States of America, the uh, Jacques Delors and Martin Bangeman proposals in, in Europe, uh, and the um, speed of uh, Japan in this uh, field. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, there is a common opinion that uh, evolution in telecommunications uh, and technology uh, has a, a very direct relation with the quality of life of citizens. Uh, other aspect uh, we consider as essential is the consolidation of uh, the concept of triple play, uh, the addition of television, telephony, and internet. And uh, we have to consider that uh, some advances that are priced in this sector, like uh, Motorola, Ericsson, Nokia, uh, uh, have the, the intention to add uh, a fourth uh, step, which is uh, mobility. Uh, we have to uh, acquire uh, always-on possibilities. Eh? Uh, we need always-on possibilities. If some of you have not heard the mobile phone, probably the uh, you are anxious eh? if, if you are in this situation. Hmm? Uh, and uh, linked to this concept of always-on, we have to add the concept of uh, unified communications, UC. Eh? Mm, the possibility, especially in the enterprise field, eh, to solve uh, very fast all the questions, uh, and in this uh, field, we can include uh, software like CRM, customer relations in management, electronic resource planning, supply chain management, hmm, for instance, a, a lot of uh, storage programs, hmm, uh, with the intention uh, to allow to the consumer, to the consumer or to the citizen, uh, of fast uh, solutions. Hmm. Um, Telecommunication networks uh, are um, a key uh, elements for uh, a lot of uh, argumentations. Uh, the first uh, one is the leadership of, of internet, it's, it's uh, logic. Um, another aspect is, is the concept of, of networking. Hmm? It is important to have a, a very uh, cabled, uh, very networked uh, country, but if uh, we have an isolated country in Latin America, for instance, uh, we cannot uh, obtain, get all the advantages of uh, a, a network. Uh, we can uh, remember here laws like Moore Law, Gilder Law, uh, uh, which establishes uh, the, the growth of capability of storage and the growth uh, of a broadband. Mm? Uh, growth of broadband is uh, three times uh, 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 better than loaf of storage, uh, and it it tries to uh, uh, recuperate the time of delay uh, from the development of uh, informatics sector, the storage sector, uh, and the development of telecommunications sector, broadband sector. Uh, it, it's a, a key aspect. And uh, uh, logically, a uh, consolidation of real uh, virtual pan space, mm, a global uh, holistic space, uh, which facilitate uh, to the Latin American citizens uh, a lot of internet services. Um, logically, it's uh, key to accelerate this process, but it is not easy. It is easy to say, but not to make. Eh? The, the implementation of uh, public policies uh, is the, the key of, of the question. Hmm? The objective at uh, last term uh, is to have, we consider to have, two broadband panestatal networks mm, um, and base it in the best technology. Uh, there is a, a curiosity in this sector is that uh, countries which arrive at the last time arrive with the best technology. Mm? It, it uh, has occurred, for instance, uh, with uh, Spain or Portugal in Europe. Mm? They mm, had not uh, uh, technology networks, but uh, when they have uh, uh, has invest in this sector, they have used uh, HFC technology, for instance, eh? hybrid fiber and coaxial. Mm? In some cases, eh? it, it is not a, 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 a general affirmation, but, but it, it, it is possible in some cases. Mm? And the, the question is to uh, make an evolution from HFC to fiber to the building or fiber to the home technology. Uh, it is the object, but in Latin American uh, zone, um, we consider uh, there will be a lot of years to obtain this object. 
uh, some uh, statistical data mm, in the recent period uh, from 2000 and 2005. Uh, we observe a uh, growth from, from of, of uh, uh, 100 of million accesses eh, from 141 to uh, 241 million hmm, and in uh, uh, tools of uh, information and communication technologies. Hmm. Uh, the growth in this uh, issue is uh, l l near uh, 50 percent hmm, uh, in three years, three, four years. And if we analyze uh, specific markets, uh, we observe in Argentina, Brazil, Chile, and Mexico um, as leaders of the Latin American broadband market mm -hmm. with uh, numbers, with figures, uh, not very high figures. Uh, about triple play, we observe uh, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, El Salvador, Guatemala. Honduras uh, and all, all the lists you, you can see. Uh, about cable television, uh, we find in Mexico, Brazil, and Colombia uh, very uh, developed uh, operators. Um, for, for historical cable uh, operators, uh, there is a problem because in, in some countries, uh, they have to uh, combine legislation and, and they have uh, some prohibitions to, to offer uh, some services. For instance, uh, in Spain, uh, historical cable operators ha have superated uh, this question, uh, offering uh, telephony uh, by EP, uh, for instance, mm, uh, because there are so some uh, limitations. And uh, in the last uh, time, we have also uh, services by Internet Protocol Television, in Argentina, Brazil, and, and China. Mm, there is uh, other option, I, sh I suppose in this morning it has been commented, and it is the use of uh, electric network mm, to uh, take profitability, the profitability of this network and to uh, uh, avoid uh, some uh, investments which uh, are not necessary. Uh, the, the same fact that has occurred with DSL, uh, Digital Subscriber Line, mm, uh, using the telephone uh, network, uh, could be uh, amplified or could be uh, used with the electric uh, network. Mm, and it is the case of PLC, Power Line Communications. Mm, there are some uh, experiences, uh, but uh, uh, in, in Europe, uh, for instance, uh, it is not very, um, uh, use it. Uh, in Spain, we have four experiences and some experience in, in Deutschland and, and in other countries. Mm -hmm. Another technology which can uh, dynamize, with, which can uh, uh, improve the status quo of technology in uh, Latin America is UMTS, uh, Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, and a high speed downlink pocket access. Uh, there uh, was uh, a middle technology, uh, uh, WAP, uh, I, I don't know if, if you remember, uh, but WAP, WAP uh, at least in uh, Spain, uh, was uh, recognized the acronym, like, where are the phones? Uh, because uh, it, it passed it, uh, where are the phones? Because uh, it, it does not, it, or di it didn't, hmm? uh, okay, it didn't uh, take a uh, good part. The feature long-term evolution eh, with, with applications of uh, television, high-definition television, uh, streaming, etc. Uh, uh, other uh, data, mm, the percentage of internet users. Um, um, uh, you can observe the internet penetration in South America, 24%, Central America, 18%, Cardiff, 15%. World average, at 20%, North America, 71%, Portugal, 72%, Spain, seven, uh, 63%. Uh, the position is not very good, um, but uh, some aspects to, to, to dream, uh, to, to be encouraged, uh, the growth in mobile communications of Latin America places uh, uh, to the region over the addition United States and Canada. Uh, a lot of subscribers are using ADIS as well, uh, um, which will be narrow one in, in, in the next years, uh, but nowadays it is considered broadband. Uh, 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 a change in the profile of internet users uh, for, from an eminent urban user to uh, uh, a 
uh, intermediate or, or rural cities user. Mm, the prospective eh? uh, ADC in, uh, um, has established a prospective, and in 2012, mm, mm, the 30% of homes of Latin American region will have broadband. Mm, it's an optimistic, uh, optimistic uh, prediction. Uh, broadband needs uh, uh, through uh, the cable study and, and other sources mm, uh, between 150 megabits per second mm, uh, in, in a few years. It will increase uh, in, in six years, uh, approx, and uh, it will multiply a lot uh, to 2025 mm, uh, from uh, 12 uh, or, or, or 5 gigabits per second. Mm. A chart, uh, it's not a surprise uh, in, in these positions that there is not any Latin American uh, country, but it, it is not Spain uh, also, uh, but, but you can observe uh, South Korea, Hong Kong, Japan, uh, normally the South uh, Asia's Southeast uh, countries and uh, Nordic European countries and, and USA and the other, other ones. Th there is Andorra, uh, you, you can observe, uh, Andorra in, in a very good position. Um, and the process of, converge of convergence uh, in Latin America has to imply uh, telecommunications, information technologies, electronics of consumption, and audiovisual service. Mm? Um, uh, which is necessary uh, to establish uh, an ambitious public policies. Mm? Um, uh, the product penetration depends on, on a lot of issues, uh, but w the essential one is regulation. For instance, the Scandinavian countries are rich right, with competence in infrastructures. Asian countries uh, have uh, the government support, but the rest of Europe and USA are losing positions. Hmm. But always of the situation. Normally, the incumbent, uh, the, the ex-monopoly, uh, uh, has a grid market hmm, in the minor chain. Um, and it is the owner of the infrastructure uh, on, and the owner of a lot of fixed access networks. Competitors are dispersed geographically, hmm? low, uh, spoiled economically, hmm? with a limited uh, capacity of investment. Hmm? And the final user uh, is mm, not very uh, tended to the, to the change. Uh, it, it has not a uh, low maturity uh, for, to, to change of, uh, in the operator. Hmm? Uh, there is the concept of ARPU, the average revenue per user, uh, which is key uh, for the, the operators in the future. Um, it, it links with the first presentation of, of, of this session. Uh, the, the regulation of prices of sale mm, of the wholesale market is not a guarantee of success. Mm. The, the incumbent uh, can sabotage the process and stop the competition uh, because uh, it dominates the market. Mm. Uh, then the infrastructure competence is not a guarantee of a competence in the field of services. Uh, we have ILAC, uh, you have uh, told about it, mm, uh, centered in six areas, uh, the, the, the main areas are uh, e health, e e learning, uh, ETC. Mm, and um, the trend is a global deployment, mm, normally public, a public deployment in rural areas because mm, the, uh, it is not a, a, a very mm, profitable area and uh, normally a private deployment of the network in the uh, urban uh, areas, uh, profitable areas. Hmm? And it uh, will avoid the, the digital gap. Hmm? And uh, the solutions uh, are to separate wholesale market uh, of the retailer, hmm? the creation of neutral infrastructures uh, in some cases, hmm? the creation of a solid broadband uh, new generation networks, uh, and the improvement of the warranted uh, broadband. And broadband, thanks for it. Okay. <laughs>